Hey, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today's video isn't technically a cooking video, but rather a heating and eating video. My friends at Texas Lone Star Tamales sent me a bunch of different kinds of tamales to try. The best thing about these is they're basically ready to eat. All you need to do is heat them up. So let's get started and give these a try. These tamales come vacuum sealed, frozen solid, and shipped directly to your front door. They have many different flavors and sizes, from the standard beef pork and chicken, to habanero beef pork and chicken, to vegan and vegetarian tamales. They even have dessert tamales, like sweet cinnamon apple raisin tamales and pumpkin tamales, just to name a few. Here's the ones they sent me to try. Pork, beef, barbecue, sausage and potato, and a pumpkin. There's four different ways you can reheat these tamales. You can steam them, bake them, microwave them, or boil them in the bag. Boiling in the bag is the best method and preferred method, so that's the method I'm going to use. It's just my daughter and myself eating tonight, so I'm just going to do one package of beef and one package of pork. I'm going to put these into a pot of boiling water and then I'm going to reduce the heat to medium, cover, and let them simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. If you're like me, you're not very familiar with what a tamale is. I've had tamales twice in my life and loved eating them, but I didn't really know what I was eating. A tamale is a Mexican dish of seasoned meat or other fillings wrapped in cornmeal dough and steamed or baked in corn husks. After simmering for 25 minutes, our tamales are done. Now that's a pretty simple method of reheating if you ask me. Now simply cut open the bag and remove the tamales. Be careful, it's going to be hot. And here's a big old plate of tamales. We got the beef, the pork, and our condiments, salsa, guacamole, and sour cream. I'm not sure how traditional those condiments are with tamales, but I thought they would go good with them, and as far as I'm concerned, they did. Now remember, tamales are wrapped in corn husks, so you have to remove the corn husk before you eat. Otherwise, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. I tried the pork tamale first. It was spicy, but not overly spicy, rich and delicious. I tried the next bite with a little bit of sour cream, even though it wasn't necessary. I love sour cream though. And then on to the beef, and it was equally as good as the pork. I can't really say I liked one more than the other, because they were both very delicious. If you are interested in trying some of these for yourself, or sending some as a Christmas gift, visit Texas Lone Star Tamales. They have tamales and gift packages for everyone. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give these a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and come back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for new recipes and cooking videos.